run through a few trips that are going to really go over the next couple hours. We're going to be here until 2 a.m. at least tonight doing this because it's fun and uh, you know it's not often you get such a, a, a great environment to be an overclocker in. So this is what we'll be doing and we're going to take a chip right now on LN2. Um, I think we're starting with the unknown chip, Sammy? Yeah. We're starting with a question mark. We got a few other setups. Switching out these setups is a pain and very difficult to do in real time. But we're going to try our best to run through a few of these setups over the next hour. And Sammy will be here. Um, he'll be uh, talking you through kind of where he's gotten. And we're going to attempt to push higher. Um, I'm, I'm hopeful that we'll see some interesting results. Um, and we'll see just how high we can go. But you have to realize that yeah. You know, these guys are working very hard to, to get the last the last few megahertz out of these processors. And you never know what will happen. Sammy Mackinnon is a renowned AMD overclocker. He, he came to AMD overclocking graphics cards for, uh, for ATI. So uh, Sammy has been properly called a Radeon overclocker for a very long time. Back in the day when water cool rigs were a big deal. So. These days we've kind of stepped it up a bit. And it's really not that hard to step it up. Liquid nitrogen's pretty easy these days. We, when we run liquid nitrogen, it's kind of a preliminary test for us. And it's been overclocking for the rest of the world for a long time. But for us, it's just uh, getting dialed in a bit. So Sammy's gonna run through uh, some chips. We're gonna start to go under LN2 if he likes his setup. And we'll let him run. So Sammy, what are you doing now and what are you testing? So we just got it started, um, just setting some of the base settings from the from the BIOS, uh, default multiplier basically. We crank up the ref clock because the CPU runs out of the multiplier. Okay, I'll try. Thank you. Uh, so we're just setting some of the base settings, um, voltages from the BIOS, multiplier, ref clock. Because the CPU has such a good uh, headroom, we actually run out of multipliers. Uh, using the default ref clock, so I just adjusted it from 200 to, uh, to 266 just to uh, give that additional uh, 30 megahertz or 30 percent and just telling some of the uh, basics like DRAM timings, uh, keeping the NV and HD link speeds at safe settings, um, obviously memory as well. Uh, in particular ACES board has some uh, interesting options as far as the voltage regulation goes so you can set things like load line calibration basically you know adjusting the amount of voltage drop it, it takes during the load uh, so just when, when dialing said, in all those settings first uh, when you said you ran on multipliers is that a bias issue uh, cpu issue or just something that needs fixing in the next it's just the CPU is just you know overclocking too high. So <laughs> for what? I mean, is the limit on the CPU? Yeah. Okay. So 31.5 is the highest multiplier, but obviously you know that gives you 6.3 gigahertz. So obviously uh, going beyond that, you have to adjust the ref clock. Uh, we've been running 266. Uh, that's been running fine. We haven't tried actually higher. Maybe Brian has. I don't know, but 266 would be good for uh, my testing. Yeah. Obviously, provides enough uh, headroom to go beyond uh, 8 gigahertz. We actually let the uh, the cooler to heat up a little bit, just so the thermal paste uh, gets to settle properly while we set up these basic settings from the BIOS. Uh, we feel it's 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 hot enough to. Uh, to get it, uh, get it going on the overclock now. Sammy, did you already mention the types and temperatures that you're running at with the L2 and? Yeah, so I mean, a liquid nitrogen in general, it boils at negative 190 C uh, degrees Celsius. Uh, so that's basically the range where we uh, where we run. We have a temperature probe at the base of this cooler, uh, and we have a temperature meter there. So. Eventually, it'll reach around negative 185, negative 187. That's typically the temperature for the uh, liquid unit. We will boot up.
up at like 4.8, so we boot up from the BIOS, pretty safe, easy settings, and then uh, we'll adjust the frequencies on the fly, as well as the voltages. So ASUS is a pretty good uh, utility, excellent utility actually, uh, for, for dialing in the, uh, the voltages, as well as those uh, VRM settings. Turbo VRM. Yeah, yeah. So as an example, here's, uh, here's a utility from ASUS, which allows you to uh, adjust the ref clock on the fly, so you can do fine tuning on the overall CPU frequency, as well as on memory and HD frequency. Uh, there's voltage controls for the CPU core, for the CPU north bridge, as well as for memory. You can dial in additional voltages as well, and uh, there's also an option for CPU ratio. So we're just going up little by little, 7 gigahertz so far, no problem. Seven three three nine. Seven point six gigahertz. Seven point seven three nine or seven seven forty. steps up um, in terms of the multiplier. Obviously we can also increase the ref clock so uh, at this point we could do you know small steps just by adjusting the ref clock by one megahertz which would translate into uh, roughly 30 megahertz uh, in terms of the actual CPU speed. Have you 
Lift a little higher, dude. Yeah, I'm short. 8336. 8336. So close. 